students today in this video we are going to see how to develop a story now this is the question which is asked often you are given an outline or you are given the beginning or the end and you are expected to develop the story whenever you are developing a story what are the things that you should pay attention to and how you can score maximum marks in this question we will see in this video first of all read the outline carefully or read the beginning given carefully now whenever you are writing the story how should be the title it should be interesting so first thing is that you should give a suitable title give a suitable title to your story now if you are having problems regarding how to give a suitable title remember some basic things first title should be short it should be attractive so if you want to write a title how you will decide there are three ways in which you can decide the title of the story first thing you can give the title according to the names of the characters the title can be on the based on names of characters of major characters okay so major characters Here and the tortoise. Remember the story. So you can give the title of the story. It should be short. It should not exceed more. It should not be more than five to six words. When you are giving title, you can think of the major character. They are names. So the title can be according to the names of the major characters. Then second, the storyline, the theme, theme. what is the theme of the story what the writer wants to uh, convey through the story of hare and tortoise slow and steady wins the race so that can be the what it can be the uh, title of your story so it title can be based on the characters if you are not able to decide upon anything it is better to give the name of the story according to the title or it can be on the basis of the theme of the story or it can be the incident narrated incident narrated in the story now incident narrated in the story a race between hare and tortoise okay so i hope you might have understood that you should always start by giving a title to the story and how should be the title the title should you should decide the title on based on three things name of the characters the theme or the incident which has been narrated in the story okay so now our title is ready now if you want to start always remember the story should consist of five main story consist any story consist of five main elements which are the elements of the story character characters then setting then plot then conflict okay now and how that conflict is or theme and theme what exactly is the theme that has been discussed by the writer now these are the main aspects of a story and your story should has these aspects characters always remember a story appears to be interesting when you give names to your characters now if they have how they are how they behave okay name or give name to your characters mention their qualities use adjectives as many adjectives you will use in your story the story will sound interesting setting setting means where the story is taking place where and when where and when whenever you are writing so you should mention where 
There were two friends, Ram and Shyam. They lived in a sleepy, I am using adjectives, in a sleepy village. Uh, you can name anything, you can give a name to that village, which was situated in uh, midst of mountains, hmm, ranges. It was nestled there in between. Hmm. You should mention the what? Whenever you are mentioning setting, men, always remember you should mention where and when. Where your story takes place, where is it taking place, mention the place, when is it taking place. You should mention uh, the time, the morning, evening. You can mention even here if you want to make the story more precise and interesting. Now what is plot? Plot is the story of your what story that you are expected to write. Always remember, your story should be interesting. Your show, story should be interesting. Mention the character, mention the setting, mention what happens. And always remember, story can't be without any conflict. Conflict, a problem which is solved. A story cannot be without conflict. Now, Conflict can be internal as well as external. For example, some problem with the character himself. Conflict can be external. Hmm? How it is resolved in the end. That is the main aspect of the story. Now what is theme? Theme means what message you want to convey through the story. What message you want to convey through the story. I hope you have understood that these aspects should be there in your story. Now, how to start and how to write and how to end. Okay. So, start in the first paragraph. You should, the first introductory paragraph, you should introduce the characters, mention their names. Okay. Setting means where the play, uh, where the story is taking place. Introduce the character setting in the first paragraph. So this will be your first paragraph. This will be your first paragraph. Now in the second and third paragraph, your story develops. In your second and third paragraph, develop the story in second and third paragraph. Develop the story in second and third paragraph. If they have given you outline, you can use the outline there itself. You can use the outline there itself. And you should also mention the conflict, the problem in the second and third paragraph. Okay? In the next, develop the story. Now, whenever you are writing the story, remember one thing. The story should must be in written in past tense. Hmm? Mention the events in past tense. Mention the events in past tense. Also, also remember one thing. That when it appears monotonous and boring if you are writing the story, everything in past tense. Use dialogues. Use some as uh, some of the things being said in direct speech. Okay? Write dialogues to make it lively. Write dialogues, conversations to make the story lively. To make the story lively. Okay? So this is how and in the last paragraph you should, in the third, fourth paragraph, you should resolve the conflict. In concluding paragraph, resolve the conflict and highlight the theme. And highlight the theme. And Highlight the theme. Okay. So this is how you have to develop the story. Always remember. Always remember. 
whenever you are writing the story you should start by giving it a suitable title you should start by giving it a suitable title title can be based on character it can be based on theme it can be based on incidents narrated in the story second thing you should remember always remember a story is uh, a description and experience of people and events okay so whenever you are writing the story these five things should be there in your story characters name the characters name the place where the story is taking place story should be there you can ha have some conflict which is resolved at the end and you can even give a message through your story so how you are going to divide your story into different paragraph first paragraph consisting you can start with a proper introduction giving name to your characters giving name to the places explaining their traits how they are okay using different adjectives in second and third paragraph you can develop the story you can mention the conflict the problem which is there and in the last paragraph you can resolve the conflict and end the story highlighting the theme and the message of your story uh and to make your story more interesting always remember to give to write certain aspects in dialogue form it makes the story lively and interesting uh, underline the key aspects that you have written in the story okay this is how you can develop a story if they have already given the beginning start with the beginning you can mention the name of the characters afterwards if they have not mentioned and start with the same beginning develop in the similar way and if they have given the ending there too you have to remember to end it in that way and you can have a twist or a turn at the ending of the story yes to make it more interesting i hope you might have understood how to develop a story so i hope you will write interesting stories you can practice to be perfect in this skill uh, do keep watching other videos subscribe to the channel to enrich your english thank you